On this episode of Visual Studio Toolbox, we wrap up our mini series on getting started with GitHub. We're going to keep looking at merge conflicts and see how they can be the result of working with branches. Hi, welcome to Visual Studio Toolbox. I'm your host, Robert Green. This is the fifth and final episode in our mini series on getting started with GitHub. In our previous episode, we saw how there can be a conflict when two people work on the same code within the same branch. We saw how to resolve that. Conflicts can also arise if you're working on different branches. So let's see an example of that and how we deal with that. So let's pop over to Visual Studio. Here's our project as it stands. And let's say I want to add some new code. I want to create a new branch. So I'm going to go to Git New Branch. And I've been tasked with creating the utilities. So I'm going to create a branch called utilities. And that is now the current branch. So inside the utilities branch, I'm going to add a class called utilities. I'm not going to write any code in it. But what I am going to do is come over to program and write the code to you to load utilities on startup. Okay, so let's save everything. And then what I'm going to do is at some point commit this and do a pull request. I can do this, do the committing now, I can do it later. Let's do it later. In the meantime, while I'm working on this, somebody else has been tasked with creating securities. So they probably create a separate branch and do a pull request. I'm gonna shortcut it and just say they created a new file called, uh, what did I say, securities? I meant to say services. So let's create a services file. And then in program, I'm going to add code to load the services. Okay. So now, the remote master branch has code to load services and also has the services class. In the meantime, back here in Visual Studio, I'm now ready to push my branch up and create a pull request. Okay, so I'm going to do a commit and push. This message, by the way, was from the last episode, so let's not get confused added utilities class and code to load at startup. And I'm going to commit this and push this to the utilities branch. Okay. And then I want to create a pull request to move it into the master branch. So let's create the pull request. Get auto, auto already figures out that I can't merge this because there's a conflict. All right, but I can create the pull request anyway. No harm in that. And it says, you got conflicts. The conflicts are, we could resolve them here. We could certainly look at them, that the code that's already up there has code to load services. I don't have that code in my master branch. I don't even have that code in my utilities branch. I don't have that code anywhere. What I do have is the code to load utilities, but master and the remote doesn't have that. So there's a conflict. Okay, so what are we gonna do about it? We're certainly not gonna resolve it up in GitHub. Again, the person who's in charge of this project will go to me and say, you fix it. Okay, so what I again need to know is what's the code that's currently in master and how does the code that I wanna add to program in master um, conflict with that. So what I first need to do is to find out what's currently in master. So I'm going to make master the active branch and I'm going to do a pull. And my master currently has nothing. And I see that up on the server, we have load services. Okay. So now I'm starting to understand. So then the next thing I'm going to do go into git manage branches, make utilities the current branch. And because I have sitting in my 
local repository history, the current master, I'm going to say merge master, the master from the remote into my local utilities, which will fail, but that's fine because I get to manage the failure. Okay. So what I'm now going to do, I can resolve the conflicts, which just opens up this dialog if it's not already open. Double click on program.cs and we see the merge editor as we did before. Up on the server, it says load services. In my local master, it says nothing. And in my utilities branch, it says load utility. So I really want both of these lines of code. I don't want to take the incoming because then I won't load the utilities. I don't want to take the current because then I wouldn't load the services. So I can check this to add that line of code. I can check this to add that line of code. And if it turns out that services relies on utilities, then I just check them in the opposite order. Load utilities, load services, and this is the code I'm going to send up. Now I accept the merge, and I will say resolve the conflict by loading both utilities and services. Notice that this code has been staged. I'm ready to push it. And I'm going to be pushing it into utilities up in GitHub, and then I'll finish the pull request and move it into master. So I'm going to commit this and push. And now if we switch over to GitHub, GitHub automatically says, yep, yeah, you're good to go. Now you've resolved the conflict, so we're OK here. I'm going to merge the pull request. I'm going to confirm the merge. And now if I go to the code and in the master, I have services, I have utilities, and in program, I have both of these. And then finally, back in Visual Studio, switch over to master, do a pull so that my version of master matches what's up on the server. And I have utilities, I have services, I have code to load both. I'm totally in sync. Isn't that cool? So what we've seen in this episode is how you manage conflicts that can occur working with branches. And at this point, we're done with our mini series on getting started with GitHub. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you want to follow along with the steps I've taken, I have my demo script in the public getting started with GitHub repository. This is the demo script that I used. So if you want to follow along, and figure out how this all worked and practice for yourself, please do. Uh, let me know if you have any comments or uh, if, God forbid, there's any errors in the demo script. So hope you enjoyed that. If you're watching on YouTube, give us a like, share with others. And I highly, highly recommend that you always use source control, even if you're the only one working on your own little hobby projects. Everything from there all the way up to massiveprojects.net, Windows, these are managed with Git and GitHub. So highly recommend you get started playing around with it. Not that hard to get started. There's obviously more involved. Um, I'll have some links in the show notes on where you can learn more about it. And we will see you next time on Visual Studio Toolbox. Bye -bye.